conference runs in the bottom of the eighth. Mateo gets the signal from Andy Rodriguez. He sets, and he fires a fastball swung, and it fell back that pitch at 99 miles per hour. It's a deadly fastball slider combination for Oliver Mateo, and when you've got those two pitches that are so good stuff-wise, as long as he harnesses them, that's really all you need. Fastball at 98, 99, 100. Slider in the mid to upper 80s that breaks hard. He sets. And the 0-1 to De La Rosa. That one misses high. That was the slider. And it's 1-1. One one. Gage Workman and Wenzel Perez. Two switch hitters due to follow De La Rosa. The righty batter taps the bat on his shoulder. Mateo fires the 1-1. One, one. That is at the knees for strike two. Went with the slider again. He's ahead one ball and two strikes. The Marauders three outs away from getting back over 500 with their record. Mateo stands tall on the mound, looking in for the signal, and now time called at home plate. Oliver, 23 years old, out of Barahona in the Dominican Republic, signed with the Pirates as an international free agent three years ago. He sets. The one-two pitch. That's the slider. Strike three call on the outer half. One away here in the ninth inning. De La Rosa frozen. He couldn't pull the trigger. As a quick aside, if you're wondering, the no-hit bid is still in progress for the Daytona Tortugas against the Jupiter Hammerheads. Jupiter hitless after six innings in their game. Here in Bradenton, Marauders lead 7-6 over Lakeland, one out in the top of the ninth. Here's Gage Workman from the left side. Oliver Mateo sets and fires. He misses low and inside. Workman skipping out of the way of the Aaron Slider. Ball hitting the backstop and ricocheting almost all the way back to the home plate area. Picked up by Domingo Gonzalez. Workman, the switch hitter, batting left-handed. He is 0 for 4 tonight. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball. Check swing. It's in the zone anyway for a called strike. Fastball at 99 on the gun. Mateo showing the high black socks. The white pants cuffed below the kneecap. The righty sets just above the belt buckle. His 1-1 one -one toss is on to the inner half for strike two. He went back to the slider. That slider really working for him tonight. Now for a guy like Mateo, you can go just about anywhere on 1-2. Can go back to the well with a slider, or he can try and bust him in with a fastball. Let's see where Mateo goes on this next pitch. He sets. Workman waits, tapping the bat on his shoulder. The one-two pitch. Swing and miss. Slider right at the back foot. Strike three. Absolute filth from Oliver Mateo, and there are two away here in the ninth inning. It's up to Wenzel Perez to get something done for the Flying Tigers. Perez, a switch hitter batting left-handed, is also 0 for 4 tonight. He has struck out once and he has grounded out three times. One of those ground outs produced a run. Mateo gets the sign. He sets. And the first pitch to Perez is taken at the knees for a strike. Triple digits on the fastball. Sky's dark all around Lecom Park here in Bradenton. Gentle breeze easing in from right center field. Base is empty, two outs. Flying Tigers down to their final out here in the ninth inning. Mateo with the 0-1. Slider load inside. Wenzel Perez ranked by the MLB Pipeline as number 20 prospect in the Tigers system. 
He's shown a consistent line drive stroke in this series. Here's the 1-1 pitch to it. Fastball late on the swing. He sends it out of play. Foul on the third base side. And the Flying Tigers are down to their final strike. Crowd trying to rally behind Mateo and the Marauders. Here's the set. And the one-two pitch to Perez. A swing and a miss strike three. The ball game is over. The slider from Oliver Mateo finishes things off here at Lee Comp Park. A final score of 7-6 to six here on Copa de la Diversión weekend.